The Northern Burlington wrestling team was a guest at Bordentown Saturday for the last wrestling quad before the sectionals, and the Greyhounds ran the table. 113-pounder Blake Geibel took it as a chance to avenge an early season loss to the Scotties' Coleman Ermey. Uh, yeah, I lost to him earlier in the season, and it's just kind of been bothering me. And I just kind of went out there and wrestled today, and was, I just showed up, I think, and that's how I beat him. A lot of hard work went into it, too. Oh, yeah, I got him to his back a couple times. I couldn't pin him. That's what I was trying to do, but he, he's a good wrestler, but I think I showed up a little bit better today. Geibel's 16-8 major decision set a tone early in the day for the Greyhounds, whose smallest margin of victory over three meets was 58 points. Garrett Totten, David Geibel, Alexander Reyes, Jamie Lovendusky, Max Gillen, Brandon Rusek, Tyler Neville, and Patrick Ivanko all won three bouts each for the Greyhounds. Ivanko received two forfeits to go along with a highlight reel pin. There's nothing much to, nothing else to say about it. Just, he, I got an underhook on him and he was moving, he was moving, so I just threw him. They, lucky, lucky deck, easy deck. It was as solid a day as the Greyhounds could hope for. Can't ever be satisfied, so I, mean, I like that we took care of business. Nine, I think we gave up nine points in two of the matches and ten in the other one. Have a couple JV kids that were wrestling today. So, um, you know, I, those matches that we lost, I think we gave a bonus, which is an issue, especially going into sectionals next week. So, um, eliminated bonus, but I liked, you know, we went after kids and uh, we, we never really wrestled, you know, any competition like this this year. So I, I thought it was nice of us, or nice that we went out and kind of took care of business. Also taking care of business was Burlington City's Amir Pittman, who had two pins and a major decision. I know I won, and I, I, I won for my team, so that's the best thing that happened. I'm expecting to win districts, and then most likely win regions. But you always got to stay humble, so I got to keep on working hard and hard, harder than ever. I got to push myself where nobody else wants to push themselves to. Bordentown recovered from its shaky start to go 2-1 and one on the day. The home team gets to build the schedule for these quads, and this one was literally built with the bounce back in mind. Um, and that's one of those things, we always talk about adversity and the next best thing. And if you lose, you got to be ready to wrestle back. And you got to be able to overcome the hard stuff. The easy stuff's going to come, but you got to be ready for those tough situations. And it was good. We had some of our top guys lose, and now it's how do you battle back? If it's a wrestle back, you got to wrestle back. West Hampton Tech's day ended with the Greyhounds, and the Panthers knew it was a fight against the odds. The last match, of course, against Northern Burlington, a very good team. It was, you know, go out, wrestle hard, wrestle intense uh, for a full six minutes at every weight class, and um, not about winning and losing, just going hard, letting the chips fall where they may, so to speak. From Bordentown Regional High School, this is John Lewis.